welcome in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to a brief devotional from the Christmas story from God's Word to enhance your Advent journey to a celebration of Jesus' birthday. Savior of the nations, come, Virgin Son, make here your home. Marvel now, O heaven and earth, that the Lord chose such a birth. May the Lord bless you and Devotion 4, Friday, December 25th, 2020. God with us. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Luke 2, 6 through 7. Mary prepared for her baby's birth as carefully as she could. She brought swaddling cloth with her to wrap Jesus in. The humble clothes of any newborn baby intended to keep him warm and to help him grow up straight and tall. God also prepared for Jesus' birth. What did he prepare? Not an inn or guest room and not a cradle, even a borrowed one. God gave Jesus a manger to sleep in, to keep him off the ground, safe and clean. It wasn't glorious, but it did the job. Now we have this picture to treasure forever, the picture of our newly come Savior Jesus, wrapped in the clothes of humble love and already sharing in the poverty of the people he came to save. Who could be scared of such a Savior? He comes to us right where we are, not where we ought to be. A God who wears baby clothes is a God who is intimately connected to us. A God who walks in our shoes, who carries our burdens, who hangs on our cross. The Lord who sleeps in a manger is the same Lord who slept in our tomb and rose from the dead, victorious bringing us all along with him into eternal life. Let us pray. Dear Lord, stay with me forever. Amen. Reflect and discuss. Number one. Have you ever cared for a newborn baby? What was it like? Yes, actually when I was very young, uh, when my twin brothers were born, uh, my mother almost died because she fell down the stairs and hemorrhaged badly. For the first little while, my grandmother came from Pittsburgh, and she helped take care of the babies, but we all had to pitch in too. So I and my older brother helped out a lot. And it was difficult for us because, well, Mom was not doing very well, and both of these babies were very small. Number two. What feelings do you think Mary and Joseph had about this whole experience? Well, I'm sure it was trying from them. They were far from home because they had to go there for the tax registration, plus the fact that there was all this stress from Mary being pregnant. Number three, why do you think God let Jesus be born in such unpredictable circumstances? First of all, saying they're unpredictable is an error, because God knew exactly what was happening. It wasn't like he tried to do something and it didn't work out. Uh, this is what he planned. This is what he wanted. And, yeah, I think we're kind of getting into the realm of questioning what God is doing here. God does this because this is what he wanted, and we have to accept that he... May the Lord bless your Christmas day.
This has been a brief daily devotion provided by Lutheran Hour Ministries. We pray that this devotion will be a blessing to your day. Honor, glory, my dominion to the Father and the Son with the ever-living Spirit while eternal ages run.